to official business. I don't know the Okay. He's not one giving me his information. He's obstructing. That's We're not obstructing. Him, okay, no. so you can step out. Sir, don't no. put your hands on me. I want your supervisor. I want your supervisor. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Stop it. Whoa, what the fuck? Stop. Oh, Turn it. What are you doing? Get back. Sir. Get back. Get your camera on. Back in the car. Hey, you fired me. Hey, she's staying here. Oh, yeah, I had to pay a hundred and thirty dollar ticket. Yeah, I had to pay a hundred and thirty dollar ticket for not having my seatbelt on. When we wrecked. When what? When we wrecked, yeah. Uh, so I always have to wear my seatbelt now or like I'm like I guess I have to pay for more money. Who told you that? Uh the cops. Which one? I have no fucking clue. He's like a state trooper, but yeah, he said, you got your seatbelt on during the wreck? I said, nah. And he said, all right, I'm going to have to cite you for that. I looked it up. It said the fine would be like 30 bucks. But then I paid it, and it was like 130 so, No, but. you fucking called VMV. And look, right there, there the motherfuckers are right behind us. And they fucking hate me, I swear. What is it, the police? Yeah. They, he just turned the block, literally. I just watched him turn the block. Are they fucking following you? Yeah, dude, dude uh, if they stop me again while I'm over here, like, I'm seriously going to press charges completely. That's all there is fucking to it. It's harassment. Yeah, yeah, it is. And I've got all my cameras going. Yeah, they never come around here, so they have to be following you. They never, ever come around here. Dude, I tell you, they look for my car. They do. They watch for your car. They have to. Like, there's no fucking way that there's never police around here. Unless somebody called, like, an anonymous drug test line on me for smoking weed. Which is, shouldn't even be legal. They can't do that, I know dude. they can't do That's that, but hearsay. they'll still do it, you know. They'll still and look, it because people there he is, right behind me. Following you? Yep. Yeah, he's definitely following And I definitely got that one. You don't have anything on you. No, I don't do anything. Me either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, so that's what I was like. harassing me is exactly what it is. If he comes back around, they're definitely stalking you. If he was just driving through. But here's the thing, where the fuck is he going is the thing. Like, there's... That guy's pulled me over before. He pulled me over before and I gave him fucking hell for it. And I told yeah, him exactly. to get his supervisor the over exact here. cop that was just following Yeah, yeah. He pulled me over right back here in front of Joe Lynn. And uh, he was going to pull me out of my car because I wouldn't ID for him. I was sitting in the car putting on my makeup. I had an interview. I was getting ready to do an interview. And uh, he pulled up, walked up to my car. It scared the shit out of me at first because, I mean, it, it was unexpected. I wasn't doing anything. You know yeah. what I mean? And he came up and he's banging on my fucking window. And I was like, can I help you? He's like, yes, ma'am. Do you got your ID on you? I was like, wait, what? Well, what do you need my ID for? Oh, well, in the state of Ohio, if the police officer asks you for ID, you have to ID yourself. I said, yeah, only when you've committed a crime. So what crime do you suspect me of committing? 
he he was like, well, you just need to get out of your car. And you're, I said, no, you need to call your supervisor is exactly what you're going to do. So I was like, I'm not going nowhere. And when your supervisor gets here, we'll go from there. Would he just come back around? He's for? harassing me. I'm sorry, Caleb. I will take you to the hospital. Like, literally, dude, just as quick as I possibly can. But I'm pissed off because there he goes again. And he's going to fucking circle around. Did he just what keep that? circling? Yep. Why? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, that makes no logical sense why he would be circling the block over and over I'm, again. I'm calling the police department. That's no, exactly don't, what don't I'm going to do. No, don't call the police department. <sighs> I can't take it, man. I'm broke. I have no fucking money now as it is. I'm sorry that I had to come to Iron. No, don't be. It's not your fault, buddy. N not at all. They can't get me on the fucking car color shit again. Oh, well, your car comes back as a tan vehicle. Yeah, and? You'll be okay, honestly. They can't even pull you. Like, you're good. Dude, I'm fucking legal beagle. They li Do you know why they stopped us the last time? He said he ran my tag and the car came back uh, as a tan vehicle. And he didn't think it was tan. He thought it was more of a white bronze. I was like, well, dude, I can't help your perception of a fucking color. Why don't you fucking call the, B the BMV and uh, ask him, can you change the color of people's cars so we can just, you know... I don't think the car is that color, and I'd like to know if you'd please change it for me. Yeah, so I, you know, can, so I can quit paint, rotting them up. Somebody can literally paint their car. Say my friend. Then he can't do anything. Follow his ass. Over. I didn't do anything. Use your fifth amendment right. Oh, you got a lot of I do, but I'm on the phone. 
phone with 911 now and I want to know why you're following me. I'm not following you. You did. You circled the block three times. That's why I stopped and pulled over to walk eyes with you because every time I come over here, you all harass me. What did I do? What was a traffic violation? What was a traffic violation? It was a turn signal and a stop sign. You just did a U-turn in the middle of the street. To catch up to you. To me, sir, I stopped. I stopped immediately. Well, I'll just hop out here. I'm not. I'm not I, need an, I need an officer here, please. This officer has been following me through town and I'm not doing anything wrong. I literally stopped and pulled over because I knew he was going to do this. Hello? Step out. Ma'am, I need an officer here, please. Sir, I've not done anything wrong, and you need to get your supervisor here. Sir, tell me what I've done. All right, this is how it works. I'm going to ask you to step out, I'm going to tell you to step out, and then I'm going to force you to step out. So Sir, step out willingly. if it's a traffic stop, I will give you my information. It is a traffic stop. If it isn't... A traffic stop from what? I just told you, a third signal and a stop sign violation. Please, Jimmy. Comply with him. I don't understand. I watched you circle the block three times to follow me. That's harassment. Were you breaking a traffic violation? No, sir. You literally stopped right here to wait for me to turn so you can turn around. You beat me to the stop sign. You got the right away. Sir, I knew that you were looking for me, so I stopped right here knowing that you were going to blue light me. I, tra I travel on these streets all day. I come across thousands of cars every day. Sir? You broke the traffic violation. Be a woman. Own up to it. We're, we're grown woman and men here. Yeah, we are. So, but I mean, I'm already... Part of being a, a, a dog, right, is uh, taking responsibility for your actions, right? And that's breaking a traffic violation. You realize I have you on camera following me, right? I got a camera here. It's going to show that you literally followed me through town. What you, you did, I have you going around the block several times. Uh, there's all kinds of streets that I got to patrol. Yeah, but you're singling me out. I'm not singling you. You did. You broke a traffic violation. Can I, do you want me to step out yeah, or what, I mean... Now you're going to cooperate? Sir, I wasn't not not going to cooperate. It's just you all are harassing me right now. I'm sorry, what did you say? You're sitting on the corner of a... I'm on the barn okay. and not. Hang on. Okay. okay, one second. I'm gonna put my shoes on. Slip them off.
am in the church parking lot is where I'm at. Church parking lot? Yeah, go ahead and pull out of the church and around the block. Yeah, you're, you're behind the house. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'm standing out here. Uh, are you behind me? or? I would be... Yeah, if you're if you're pulled into the church parking lot, I'm behind you. That uh, garage right there. Yes. Yeah. Where I am. Oh, okay. You're on the other side. Yeah. I got you. I'll be right there. bunch of shit out of the way for you. <laughs> He's pulling you over. He can't pull me over. I didn't do anything. with 911 now and I want to know why you're following me. I'm not following you. You did. You circled the block three times. That's why I stopped and pulled over to walk eyes with you because every time I come over here you all harass me. You, you must, what did I do? What was a traffic violation? Was a traffic violation? Was a turn signal and a stop you just violation. did a U-turn in the middle of the street. To catch up to you. To me, sir, I stopped. I stopped immediately. Well, I'll just hop out here. I'm not. My, I, need an, I need an officer here, please. This officer has been following me through town and I'm not done anything wrong. I literally So 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 just real quick before years ago. Just give me the basis Lord, of what so, happened. Um, Two years ago. Uh my fiance and I went to the dollar store, uh, when I had bad you know hands packed full of bags, leaving the store, and I had his wallet in my hand. Well, I guess in the midst of putting the groceries in the car and leaving, I dropped his wallet. Well, I hadn't noticed it at the time, so I left and went across the street to the CVS. Uh, once getting there, I kind of noticed across the street that a police officer has pulled into the spot that I just left. He, he was talking to somebody in a van, and then after he pulled out, he circled around and pulled into our spot and opened his door and reached out and we didn't know what he was doing yet until she was like the wallet Babe. and i'm like i don't have it and we went to the dollar store and the security camera showed walking out the door with it so from the door to the car okay so when we got in the car it fell on the ground we assume and we saw him pick something up so she went to the police department okay and then what, uh, you came right here i, I did uh, i came directly here uh, i didn't know who it was so when i came here there was a gentleman here and i uh, explained to him the situation i said there was an offer officer that was just at the dollar store could you please have him dispatched here and he said well what for i said i believe he picked up my wallet and i would like to get it back and right. would like to do that so completely. so she she goes she goes where he pulled into the space to go get her wallet she goes back here he comes to here the department what does he say when he pulls in here so he, he says how can i help you i said well sir you know i'm pretty sure i just watched you pick up my fiance's wallet and i i thought i would just get it back well, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have your wallet. I, I said, sir, oh. I'm not making full accusation, but I'm pretty sure that I watched you that, pick that, it up and I thought you would have integrity and in. give it back. That's not what happened. Oops. I tell him, I said, you know, sir, I, I'm pretty sure you picked up, you know, our wallet and I'd like to have it back. And he says, what wallet? I said, sir, you just left the dollar store parking lot and I'm pretty sure you picked up our wallet. We'd, we'd like to have it back. And look in his lap for like 10 seconds. Like he had to have been looking through it. Right. And, and, and there was $130 in it, whoop do No, not whoop do doo you, you, you told me earlier you make 15 bucks an hour, yeah. so 130 bucks is a yeah, full day's wages. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. So you're not rich? You're not, you're not rich? Oh, no, we're like paycheck day. to paycheck. So $130 is a lot of money. Dude, we can barely keep our car on the road. Right. So she doesn't get the wallet back, he takes the 130 bucks. he takes the wallet, and then, what, three months later, two months later, she was pulled over because he ran her plate without probable cause, which is a violation of the law. And then he said he pulled her over because her car's coming back. 
not tan, but silver or whatever the BS he made up was. He pulled her over for saying that her reg didn't come back with the right color of car. That's what she was pulled over for, for the wrong color car. And, and what happens? He wrote me a ticket after I proved that was but incorrect. They he wrote a ticket because I had a mask hanging from a rear view mirror. See him on the camera up there? On this one? Make sure it's going. Note to everyone yeah, watching. It is. Every single time we come to Ironton, Ohio, we have police officers following us. Every time. Every time. They arrested us under false pretenses, held me in jail for three days, uh, told people that I didn't have a bond. They're malicious. Thugs. Never seen nothing like it. Like it was over here. Doing it intentionally too to intimidate us. Oh, he's pulling us over. We're getting pulled over? Yeah. Crack your window. Oh, I got to see. Lock my doors. Lock all the doors. Hey, what am I being pulled over for? Uh, a couple things, man. Uh, there's a the cover over your tag. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it obstructs the view of your tag. Over in Ohio, you can't have that. And then also the uh, tag, when I ran, it came back to a tan vehicle. Yeah, we've, we've had that. We've been pulled this. over for that before okay. by you guys. By us? Yeah. Yep. Okay. A few months back. Okay. Need my license or something. And we're yeah. from I'm Kentucky. In Kentucky, we're in the middle of a door dash. Okay. So. Well, it is in Ohio, so. All right. There you go. Need insurance, too? Yeah, yeah, I need yeah. the insurance, the yeah. registration, everything. Oh, wow. Oh, there you go. Which one? You need to kind of hurry this up. Yeah, see, it says tan on our um, on our registration, too. Right. We've already had this issue with you guys. Yeah, but it's a silver car. Yeah, yeah I, we I, can't I, help I, that. That's not, I mean, that's out of my we control. Can't we help bought that. it. From my cousin's car lot right yeah. there on the corner in Cold Road. Well, I'm just so. saying, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, well, is. why'd you run my tags in the first place? I can run your tag anytime I want to run your tag. Oh, I thought you were supposed to radio your supervisor and all that no, stuff. I don't have to radio my supervisor. Because, uh, 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 nothing against you, man, but every time we come to Ironton, okay. a, a, one of you guys gets behind us, follows us, runs our tags, and we usually get pulled over. Okay. Um, uh, it's caused a lot of problems. And, uh, why, why is it called a problem? I mean, I don't well, you see these cameras here? Yeah. These were put here for a reason. Okay, um, the last problem. time I got pulled over in Ironton, I got yanked out of my car and slammed to the ground, and I've got a lawyer working on that. Okay, but, um, let me I, ask you something. There, it just seems to be like uh, you guys have it out for us or something. Uh, okay, well, you, well, give me just a second. Okay. I appreciate it. I, I'm trying to get back to work here. Does he still need... We're, like, we're on a door dash, sir. Working. But yeah. there's the proof that the registration says tan on it. That's fine. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not debating that. Uh, oh wow. What? He said there's something about having trouble. Well, this. what I'm going to do is I'm guessing the reason you got pulled out of the car the last time you was here, and this is a strict guess because I. I'm reading how you're acting towards me. Is because you either A, refused to get out of the vehicle when you was out. Oh, I refused to ID. That was what okay. it was. Okay. Because he had no good... Well, the officer followed me all the way across. What, what it was, he was parked at a car wash, 
as soon as he seen our car, he jumped out, followed us clear across town, waited for us to turn, and then when we turned, he said we didn't use our turn signal 100 feet prior to the turn. Which is We off. proved that wrong, though. We went and literally measured the spot where he said we used our turn signal. It was 187 feet. I was held in jail for three days, and they told my family that I didn't have a bond, which was a lie. Okay. I'm just saying, it did. if it was you, wouldn't you... I mean, we're not breaking the law. We don't. We're not. Well, unfortunately, engaged in any criminal the activity How? or. Unfor unfortunately, you you committed a couple. Just don't of argue with him. We just need to get back to work. So. Uh, traffic violations on just your vehicle. So. Okay. That is the law. So okay. you are breaking the law. Well, how can we fix it? Do I need to take it off my? Well, I would I would suggest that yes. Okay. I would suggest that, and I would also suggest you uh, go figure out what's going on with your. Your, well, uh, we're still paying on the. Oh God, that's under my eyes. I'm sorry, man. I need. Because, like I said, if I run your tag and it comes back to a tan car, right? Which it does. Sir, that's an objective opinion. People it's, have different no, opinions no, about that color. Opinion. No, it's not, sweetheart. Not. Listen, it's it's something. There's some kind of mistake on the registration. We bought okay. the car, but we can't that's help the, that. That's the registration we were given. Well, I, I don't know what, what else I'm to saying do. is, I would suggest. If you ask what you could do. Yeah. I'm giving you suggestions, so I would suggest you to shut up. Um, no, shut up. Just don't say that. Just shut up. Because I'm not wow. talking to you. Is okay. that a lawful order? That is a lawful order. Okay. I thought we had freedom okay. of speech. Well, we do, but with her keep bumping in. I get it, yeah. And ob okay. obstruction, can obstructing we... my investigation of right. my traffic stops. Sir, can we de-escalate? Can we de-escalate? We are de-escalating. Well, yeah, I'm telling you, you, you what's going on, okay? okay. Can we... I don't like being interrupted. I don't like trying to be talked over to, which you're trying I to apologize. do, right. which she is doing. Okay. okay. I apologize. So this is what I'm saying. What's well, going to happen? Going down the wrong way or what? Yeah, because of how you guys are acting. So oh, well, happen, sir, we're not acting we're any at, way. I'm just asking I told questions. You, yes, sir. Hush. I, I, now, now I'm telling you to hush and listen to okay. me. I want you to take your seatbelt off, and you're coming back here, me, and you're going to talk like men instead of having your wife yell over top. Sir, oh wow! I, 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 I apologize. told you once, shut up. Okay, just, I, I told you once, shut up. Listen. Shut up. Yeah. No, sir, sir, no, no, no. sir. She's not no. breaking any laws. She, she not... done obstructed me twice. Sir. After being told her. Listen. I she done, after being told she's her, talking. I apologize against the law. to you. If I give her a lawful order to shut up, but She said I apologize. Yeah. Now I'm telling you to get out. Answer, yeah. open the door. Oh, who was talking to us, sir? No, no I said step out here. Okay. Take your seatbelt off. Just Face step away. out. Just do what he says, babe. God, I'm sure. I want right there. Face away from me. Away? Yep. Behind your back. Well, behind your back. Yes, sir. Well, why are you doing this? This is a traffic stop. Yes, For what? For obstruction of failure to comply with the lawful order. After I told her to shut up and let me be called. I did. And she did. She's under arrest. Pronounced the case because she failed to listen to the constitution. Yes. Immediately. I'm the same. Well, you're talking over me. You need to shut up and ask her. I'm telling you to shut up. Law board is shut down. Listen to me. She's being detained because she did not listen to me when I get her law board. She stopped talking while I was trying to talk to you. Yes, because she was yelling over top of me. Yes, sir. I don't know how this is going to be. You got anything on you? Yes, sir. Nothing on you is going to hurt me, stick me, or hurt me or anything? Yes, sir. Unless my um, eyebrow tweezers were in my pocket, I don't know if they're stick no, they're in the seat. Yeah. How long have you had the car? Uh, going on what, two, two years. Is, is the, has that been messed up since you've had it? Like the color on the beach? Yeah, yeah. That's that. That's the registration they gave us when we got the car. I don't know who, uh, who do, like if the BMV actually BMV. looks at the car and then well, notes that. Or, they're supposed to. Because no, she's me, not colorblind, so I know she didn't tell him it was tan. But. Let, me, let me explain to you, okay? What, and, and what he's saying is technically it's, it's improper display of a registration and or fictitious, potentially fictitious registration in Ohio because it doesn't match the car. However, neither one of us think it's your fault, okay? Right. So we don't want to write you a ticket for it based on the fact that it's not your fault. I would appreciate not getting a ticket for it. Well, and, but but you do need to get that taken care of because I ultimately will. you're liable to get that. You're liable to get stopped 20 times over that. I mean, because it doesn't match. 
it says it's a tan or yeah, we've gold been pulled over in Kentucky. I've been I was pulled over in Huntington <laughs> for the headlight. I didn't. I mean, I, I don't know if that's against the law, but my, I got we hit a deer, but um, and no one's ever brought it up. Like just you guys. Uh, you have to have two. I've been pulled over once before here for it, and that's the you only time. You have to have I've two heard. headlights on a on a vehicle pointing forward. Right. And then obviously the registration, the tag should match identically to what the I car mean, we're out here busting our ass trying to get money for our I, bills, you know. I, mean? I get you. And can't that, afford every little thing that the deer ran out in front of us. You know. And once again, we understand that and we respect the snot out of that. Some out working trying to, okay? But you have to remember that's what we're doing too. And the only thing he would have been done, you'd have been out of here. That's what I was trying to get to happen. Like we're we if just you lost. just let her to get her mouth shut and not interrupt it and make things so difficult. You know that's kind of where things. She's go. got she's got a bold opinion on on uh, the policing and the the blue stripes and uh, yeah. I can't well, change that. Man. We don't we don't that the, the thin blue line stuff doesn't mean anything to us. What we do is we come out here and do the same job every time. I, I get it. I know what it means. It just means police lives matter. Yeah. The only thing that we're saying is that we just come out here and do the same job. If we see somebody break the law. We're actually swore an oath that we would do something about it. So that's what we try to do, okay? Um, now, here's what we're going to do, or at least his intention was, is he's going to go over and talk to her and explain to her what's going on, and hopefully she's settled down enough to where it's not going to be an issue. Um, and, and She's she's fine. Yeah, you know, because... She wasn't trying to, like, talk over him, but she was trying to talk to him. And then he got kind of rude, I thought. I mean, that was, shut up, you know, like... Well, I can't talk to her like that, man. I don't think anybody else can either. You well, know? The, the problem is, and, and I get that, but you have to realize. Some people once don't again, like, you know, it's because we're once talking. A, once it's again, like, and I understand. I, I do understand it from both sides, okay, because because I, I live this life. So here's what I do understand is I understand that if I tell somebody generally around this area to cease and desist, they say, what the hell does that mean? Right, shut up. Exactly. Yeah, that's what, they, see, you said, that's what I'm saying. She knows what cease and desist means. Well, sure. But, but, but once again, we didn't, all day we didn't, long, we didn't read her pedigree before we stopped you. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> ultimately, we don't know who knows it and who doesn't. So around here in this area, let's face it, that's about the only thing that's going to work to tell people. <clears throat> so, so hopefully, the, can stuff, you man. tell the rest of your guys that stuff. I'm not going to write tag, you a ticket. You know, well, we will get it fixed, but we, in the meantime, we, we're, I we're driving for a living right now. I can't tell them. Which is why I have this with me, because if I wasn't making money, I wouldn't even have this thing. I can't tell them not to stop you based on that, okay? I'm not allowed to tell them they can't enforce the law. You see what I'm saying? But I can say that the bet, that he's not going to write a ticket, okay? He, he never was, I don't think. I, don't I think, think so. she just kind of like, kind of talked, talked it up, you know? We've had a lot of problems. I got a cousin that lives in Texas. And somehow he had my social security number. He got a freaking my birth certificate from San Diego, California. I have no idea how he did it, but he had an ID with his picture and my name. And he caused a lot of stink down in Texas. And I and every once in a while they run my name and his picture shows up. And you know I, I've almost been arrested three times because of him. He's he's like gangster thug type. Can't tell him shit. You know he's fucking thug hoodlum. You know what I mean? Well, I hope like crazy that you know this that hopefully she can. Kind of learn a lesson from this and say, you know, let me just let you finish, and you know, it won't be such a big deal. <laughs> I'm gonna put this back in my glove box. Calm down, sweetheart. She's got high blood pressure, man. I just, you know. Oh God, damn it! She fainted. Uh, almost for a half an hour. Half an hour. Already? Were your wrists mangled? Yes. Mangled. Yes. Pictures. And they have pictures of the mangled yeah. wrists. Yeah. So we're not done. It ain't over. She fainted when they let her out. She, she fainted. They oh, there's Pam. Pam, we want a complaint for him. Can we get a They're complaint? on our website. They show where are you? Well, Pam, do you want to refute what she said? She said that you told her you would threaten to arrest her for filing a false police report. Is that true? That is not true. I believe if you're one I of your said, Oh, but she came here. You're Pam. There's, there's Pam Wagner. Yep. So she came here, and what Pam said to her was that she would arrest her for filing a false complaint. That is not that, That's what that's you said. True. That's what you said, Pam. Don't lie. That's what you that's, said. I got it on video. I have it on video. I have so everything I. on video. So why can't she file a complaint? 
Why can't Sarah she file can, a complaint? She can file a complaint on anything she wants to, and I explained no, you said you would arrest her if she filed a complaint, is what you said. No, I did not That's say that. That's what you said. And she did. And we've been harassed. Because okay, I so what I said, well, hang on. Let her talk. My turn to talk. Please, you guys, I want, I want you guys to let, let me navigate. My turn to talk. Let okay. her talk. Okay. I believe what I said to you was, if you moved forward with a false police report, you could be prosecuted for that. Is that not the words I used? Right. Is that not the words I, I used? Look at her aggressive house. Can I get into my backpack? Is that where your ID is? Yes. My wallet. Insurance registration for this car? Yes, sir. I'm recording too, Please, I hope somebody can help me right now. This officer pulled me over again. Please, I need somebody to come and help me. You guys, this officer is harassing me. <laughs> Less than a month ago, we were pulled out of our vehicle. And this officer, <laughs> he, uh, I pulled up behind a vehicle here at Joe Lynn because I have an interview right here at Laser Ship. And I seen him turn around. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't even let my turn signal because I wasn't turning anywhere. I was pulling up behind another vehicle and he approached my car and asked me for ID. And I said, sir, can I ask you why I'm pleased do you need to give me your ID? And I said, sir, I haven't committed a crime. Where'd you say you was going? None of your business. I have an interview right here. So I can tell you that. But technically, none of your business. 
everybody. Yeah, so you can use it against them later. Shame on you, man. Shame on you. You're supposed to be protecting people, and all you're doing is intimidating because you have a badge and a gun. Shame on you, man. You, commit a traffic you wouldn't even been able to see me commit a traffic violation. Your dash cam will show that. I don't have a dash cam. Oh, well, imagine that. Basically, my word against yours. I have my supervisor rolling up here in a minute. You're detaining me right now? I'm not detaining you at all. I'm running You're you. still holding my I'm license. I'm running you to uh, see if you have any more. You have no reason for that. Uh, I've not committed a crime. Have I committed a crime? A uh, traffic offense, yes. That you couldn't even see? I see. No, you didn't. My you. right turn no, signal? 826. 826. Supervisor, because he's right here. If you want to talk to him, I'm just telling you that I know my rights, and there's no way I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just saying I don't have to show ID unless I've committed a crime. You committed a traffic offense. No, you recognize me, so you stopped me. I watched you turn the block. So that's fine. I'll give you my information and you can write me a ticket for the traffic well, violation. I'll let my supervisor explain to you. I seen her coming up the street. She didn't use a turn signal. I pulled her over and she's saying that she don't have to identify herself. I didn't have to use a turn signal. I was pulling in behind this vehicle. I used my turn signal at this stop sign to make a right, and I stopped right here. He was on the other end of the block. There's no way he would have been able to see my turn signal. He was behind me. All right. Uh, you don't have no warrants. Uh, kind of made it a bigger problem. No, than you did that. Uh, you did that. Shame on yeah. you, man. Where you go now? Of course, and now I'm late for my interview. Where you got the interview at, man? Right here. Right here. Right here. Over there. Yes. Okay. You want us to go over with you? No, I don't. Okay. Well, you take care. You guys, please. <laughs> I ask for the supervisor and the supervisor shows up and he tells me I'm free to go and this guy followed me. I watched him turn around and follow me and this is the same guy that pulled us over at the CVS. <laughs> he immediately asked me for my ID when I refused to ID to him and told him I didn't have to because there was no crime being committed. He threatened to arrest me. <laughs> I just want you guys to know these officers aren't out here to protect us. They're taking advantage of their position. <laughs> it is not fair. <laughs> Seven's going to be 275 Zebra Robert William. 275 Zebra Robert William. We're going to be CVS right here, South 3rd and Jefferson parking lot. Okay. You got a license, registration, proof of insurance on you, my man. I do not.
You don't have a license at all? Thank Honey, you. just go ahead and have your seat in the car, okay? What is it? Just have your seat in the car, huh? Well, I'm just well the only reason I'm behind the wheel is because because she was feeling well, dizzy. We were at my mom's. 8, 19, 8, 21. We're meeting her sister here. Okay. We're you not, ain't got no ID on you? No. Okay, what's well, your name? Tim. Tim what? Wait, why do I have to give you that? I don't understand that. Because I stopped you for a traffic violation. You no, have to what get it. For what traffic violation? Not using turns 100 feet prior. Are you kidding Did me? I commit a crime? You That's traffic offense. Okay. No, we're not here, answering. You weren't here, even here, behind here. us. There was another car no, behind us. We're not answering that. 17 not here with me. Here. I've got two people that want to argue. I'm not trying to argue with you. Okay. You can either A, give me your license. I need to speak to your supervisor. Okay. He's on his way and he's got to tell you the same thing. You give me your ID. Literally meeting my sister and my nieces. Okay, and that's. Right hey, listen, can I, can I explain something to you guys? No. It's a traffic okay. violation, okay? What was the violation? There was not using turn signal 100 feet prior to the turn. Oh, okay. sir, you, you were, were even behind, behind us. The car I was right behind, behind the same car and watching. Yeah, how would you know if I had used my turn signal? Because can, there's these red. I used my turn. I, I hit there my turn signal when we were two, I, almost a block I away. I promise you, but I watched you. We're not. I'm not doing it. I beg to differ. Yeah. Okay, so I need your license, registration, no, proof, insurance. Okay, well, and I'm gonna tell you one more time. If you don't give it to me, you're obstructing my official no, business, well, and I will place you. Not a crime. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Not, okay. Not identifying okay. myself is that's not fine. a crime. Wait till my fuck supervisor shows up, because I'm you're telling you exactly the thing. Okay, the here's the thing. It a big issue. Right it's getting recorded right now. You're I, good. I hope so. For okay. Both of our safety. It is for both of our safety. So, either we can a. Not, I'm no. not answering more questions. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to answer and you're obstructing official business, so you will be placed under arrest for obstructing official that. business, We're okay? So you can either A, give me your information. If they arrest me, you can come bail me out, but it's going to be an unlawful arrest. No, it's not. not did you know that, did you know questions. that... Please, Go ahead, let me, let me hear it. Nope. Sir, I don't have to provide in. I don't... No, no, no. Yes, you do. No. You are no. driving... The Supreme Court has ruled on this many times, no. Okay. Listen to me. State of Ohio's law, yeah, you have to give me your information. Yeah. You are operating a vehicle that I stopped you for a traffic violation, okay? That's how it goes. We're not even you weren't even behind us. us. I had my blinker on. I used my here? blinker. I'm about to make We're a point. One. I used my blinker at the gym, sir. How is that not okay. 100 feet away? So you can either step out of the car. I'm not stepping out of my vehicle. Mm. Okay, you can give me your I'd information. Like to close my door too. No, you're not closing your door. Well, you're you. you're all up inside my property right now. No, I'm not. Yeah, so you can either. Here's the thing. You can either a give me your information or you are getting placed under arrest no. for operating and not giving me your information, okay? You can record all you want. Sir. That's obstructing official business. Sir. I think you know the law. We've I don't know the law. Okay. He's not wanting to give me his information. He's obstructing. That's We're not obstructing, him, okay? No. So you can step out. Sir, don't no. put your hands on me. I want your supervisor. I want your supervisor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. I'm on. Stop it. Whoa, what the fuck? Stop. Oh Turn it. What are you doing? Hey, Get back. Court, Sir, get back. Get back. Get your camera on, please. Get back in the car. Right. You Sir. Come back to me. No, she's staying here. She's staying here. Stay here. I don't care. I don't care. Stop. 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 I asked to speak to a supervisor. And I, I am. Know, I the the I will be right. I hope you're recording. Sarah. Stay in the court. No one's going to record it. Stand up. Stand up. Are you kidding me? Knees up, raw on your knees. I'm not going to move. No, that's fine. No, I want the supervisor. That's all I asked for. There is no need for that. You know what there's no need for? No crime for? was committed. That's a traffic violation. Sir, you no okay, he's going to take in you or two. I didn't do anything. Are you the supervisor? Are you the sergeant? I asked to speak to a supervisor. Man, that not you think we poked me over? No, no, man. Okay. I don't break the law. Okay. Well, I pull you over for a truck violation. I just asked you to speak to, to your supervisor. You have to let me speak to your supervisor. No. That's the law. And he's coming, but he's going to tell you the same law. thing. That is the law. Stated in the Constitution. Well, learn your law. You're violating right. my constitutional rights. Sit in there. Have you seen? Get white. Six zero one. I'm three seven Ohio. Henry St. Paul. Four five one three. Why did he refuse to tell him his name? You know, I've been parked there the whole time. I yes, can hear you guys. I know that. Well, I can hear him. Because there's no crime committed. It doesn't matter. You have to no, cooperate you, with the police. Yes, you do. That's why he's in the back of that cruiser right now. You can't scream at these guys. You're going to get nowhere. Nothing was done wrong. Nothing. Nothing wrong. You can step on it. Sarah, get out of the car and cooperate. That's fine, but there's no sense in that. Step back here with him, that. okay? You can stand back None. here with him, okay? You can stand back here with him, okay? Why did you do that? Okay. 
Look over here in front of his car. First of all, can, can I explain no. something to you? Can I explain something to you? Absolutely. In any state, when you get pulled over and you're the driver, you have to give your identification card. Sir, we were all It's a traffic violation. I watched. And you were two cars behind us. I was behind right behind us. Turn up your hands behind your back. I've done nothing wrong. It's not wrong to plead my case. What have I done? And, and the then video. do they take you to the dungeon? Oh yeah. For, how, uh, how long are you in jail for? Three days. How long are you in cuffs for? Oh, a good, what, 45 minutes? 45 yeah. minutes in handcuffs. Yeah. And then so when he takes in the dungeon, are you allowed to take the car and leave? Oh no, uh, he, he they held me too. I actually got put in the back of two different cruisers. In handcuffs? A, a, in handcuffs, yes. Right, and what have you guys done wrong so far? Yeah. Even if you were guilty, what'd you do? Nothing. Right. No, well, no. It, say you're guilty of what? What was the crime you were pulled over oh, for? For, no, for not using your blinker. For not using your blinker. Not using our blinker. They yeah. got pulled over for not using a blinker. They're both in handcuffs. They're both. She's going to the dungeon for three days. She's put in handcuffs for 45 minutes. She went for a day. I went for three. They took them both to jail for not using a blinker. She tried to bail me out the next day after I got her bailed out. My mom came bail her out. She tried to come bail me out. They told her that I had a holder or a warrant or something. They lied. I didn't have any of that. She, right. So so let me. They said let me, I didn't have a bond. Right. So let me clarify this for the audience. So what happens here? is when they arrest him, they put him in the dungeon for three days, but the next day she goes down to the jail and says, I want to get my boyfriend out. And they say that there's a hold, they can't get him out. That was a lie. They left him in there just to leave him in there. Is, it my, is that true? Absolutely. Yeah. So there was no hold. They could have got him out. Mm. Three days in jail. And well, then what happened? Hold of a bail bond and so then, then they, they go to court, they try to say what in court? They say, they charge you with crimes and what is the what does your public pretender say? Oh, God. <laughs> He, uh, well, hers didn't talk to her. He, he wouldn't I, answer I didn't her get calls, to speak emails. To no, 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 but at court, Sarah, you go to court. I go to court, and what's um, the offer? He says, "Well, here's what the prosecutor wants: five days in jail. Five days in jail. He's going to drop the uh, he's going to drop the obstruction to a disorderly charge and right. one year probation." For what? Right. So, so let me tell you what she's charged with obstruction for. She's charged with obstruction because she won't identify her boyfriend. She won't give the police her boyfriend's name. And so they charge her with obstruction. And then when it goes to court, the, her public pretender comes out and says, okay, the DA will give you five days in jail and drop it down to a misdemeanor. You want to take the deal? What do you say? Hell no. Heck no. I didn't do anything. So, so let me ask you a question. You're, they pulled over twice for having the wrong color car, twice for no blinker, and they put them in cuffs and arrested them. You think that's appropriate, Pam? They got arrested for no blinker? They got arrested. They went to the dungeon, Pam, they, they, for obstruction of justice, for not showing ID. Do you think that's appropriate, Pam? You think people should go to the dungeon and be cuffed up? I think you all need a job. No, no, this is my job, Pam. I'm not done with you guys by a long side. We are not done by a long way, Pam. I'm just getting warmed up, Pam. I just started here, Pam.